Now, how to plot? Because it's not a simple equation like y equal mx or y equal x square. It's a, a difficult equation, so I will have to think on this. You know that sigma is equal to q by 4 pi a square. So it means this is this portion is sigma, right? This portion is sigma. Or not? Because this is charge per unit area. Sigma is charge per unit area. So what should be the dimensions of all this? Dimensionless. Because the dimensions are completed here, it will be dimensionless. Just have a look at it. Whether it's dimensionless, length length ratio. Length. And from what it is clear, it will be dimensionless. Because it is aided with one. Similarly here, dimensionless, dimensionless, dimensionless. Right? So I can uh, do like this. If I multiply 4 pi a square, 4 pi a square over q on this side, and then sigma, it will become dimensionless. Then this is equal, and let's say I plot the minus sign <coughs> with this as well, means minus here. So what will be this one, this side, a over y, and here will be 1 minus a square over y square divided by 1 plus a square y square minus 2a over y and cos of theta 3 over 2. Clear? So what I did? Dimensionless is then other side should also be dimensionless. So if I plot this one on the y-axis, if I plot this one minus 4 pi a square over q into sigma on the y-axis, and I plot theta on this side. Then what will happen to the induced charge when I will when I will change the angle? So I take few values for this one. This is zero, and let's say this is pi by two, and this will be then this will be pi, right, and so on. Now what about the values here? Think. Let's say I take this way first, which is y by a is equal to 2. Now this is the plotting procedure that you put some values and you get values out of it. So when y by a is equal to 2, then what this side will be done? This will be then equal for, for y by a equals 2. This implies that this side is 1 over 2 and then 1 minus 1 over 4 then 1 plus 1 over 4 and minus 2 over 1 over 2, one, because this is 2. So 2 over this, and this is 2 into 1 over 2, and cos of theta. And whole 3 over 2. Clear? So this will be equal then to half, and what will be this? 3 over 4. Because 4 minus 1, 3, 4. And what will be this one? 1 plus 1 over 4. So it will be 5 by 4 minus cos of theta. 
3 over 2. Great. Yes, now it is up to the theta. For theta equal to 0, what you will get? This will be equal to 1 over 2, 3 over 4, and this will become 1. Yes. So 4, 5 minus 4 is 1 over 4, 3 over 2 here. Now, I can write this 4 is 2 squared. Yes. So, this will be 3 over 8 by, this is 1 over 2 cubed, so 1 over 8. And this will be, 1 over 8 is cancelling with 1 over 8, 3. You got 3. Yes. So it means that for zero. y by a equals to 2 and 0 degree, this is 0 degree, the maximum dimensionless number that I am getting here is 3. So I got this data point. And now if theta is equal to pi by 2 in radians, Okay. Like theta is equal to 9, yes. then I will have this thing implies 1 over 8. This is 3 over 8 divided by 5 over 4 minus zero. cos 90, yes. 0. And this is 3 over 2. So this will be 3 over 8, and this will be. What will be this thing? This will become like if I do a simplification, I do simplification or I do multiply them like uh, how can I do this? Taking two of this. Okay, it is five by the way. Now cos zero, cos ninety, cos ninety is zero. For for this one, you are calculating for this one. Okay, this one means I know it's less, less, than, less than one. You take cube and then take square root. For this one, it will become 2. Eight. 5 cube, 2 cube. <coughs> so 5 cube and then 2 cube, you simplify. The 4 is going to give us 8 simply, and the 5 is going to give us 5 and the 5. Mm -hmm. one for this, one, this one, you do calculate, this one is coming out approximately 0.4 something. You do calculate. Okay, and what about when theta is equal to pi by when theta is equal to pi? Then cos pi will be equal to minus one. Minus one. So pi by four plus one. Four. <coughs> right? So nine by four is easy to calculate. Three over eight and nine by four. Three over two. So it is 3 over 2 squared, so I can write 3 over 8 into, it will be 0 over 2, so 2 over 3 cubed, right? So what it will be? This 2 cubed and this are cancelling, and this is 3 over 27, so 1 over 9. So it is approximately point 1, like... 1 over 10 approximately 0.1. So you are having, if this one is 3, this is your maximum number, then this will be equal to 1, this will be equal to 0.482. That one is coming out 0, 0 0.8, 7, 5. Right. Approximately 0.4, 0.5 something. So here, 
This one is 0.5. And on pi by 2, you are coming somewhere here. And on pi, you are coming somewhere 0.1. So it will be here. So you got your, your data points. Yes. Right? And now this one, from where I can now, like this one is going like this and then like this. But I can see the trend from here that this is your function and this is your this is your function and this is your variable. Your variable is one over q, right? One over q, q. and not q but one point five in reality. So one over r. It is something 1 over r in between 1 over r squared and between 1 over r. Yes. Right? Your r here and f of r here, it is going like this. Your r square will be more sharper. So the 1.5 will be somewhere in between here. Clear? So I can write it. This one is going somehow like this right similarly you can calculate for y by a equals 4 <coughs> so for y by a equals 4 this one is slightly starting from point slightly more than this one and like this. You can do calculate the three points and then join the values. So what this one is telling you, this one is telling you that if you plot, this one is the normalized child density because you have removed the dimensions of it multiplied with this constant like this is sigma yes. which is your induced charge you have multiplied it with some constant yes. to make it dimensionless so your induced charge is going down as your theta is varying how it's varying like this is your theta on zero it is maximum yes. on zero it is maximum and then as you go away from here to here, then your charge density is falling really quickly. And then you move from here to here, it means from pi by 2 to pi, then the decrease is not that much, which is quite surprising. For how much distance? On how much distance? For y by 2 equals y by a equals 2. Okay. Now see the situation. This is a. In reality, this is a. So this is now your source charge. Right? This is now your source charge. This is your source charge. And now see that this is almost size of the marker. Clear? Yes, sir. You are now moving like this. Your induced charge is falling. Why? That's a question. That's interesting. Like you are moving like this. Then your distance is the same. Then why the induced charge is falling? Okay. Like here. This is because sir, the induced charge is along the y-axis. No, but it's along the y-axis, but it's along the y-axis. But I am changing my observation point. 
Like what is theta? This is theta the, is the angle between the the line of charges and the observation point. When the observation point is exactly on this line, I am having maximum reduced charge. Right? Yeah. And when I am going away from it, then the induced charge is falling down. Like this. Because theta is the question is that why this thing is happening? And look here. When I'm y by a equals 4 means I am now, let's say this one is this much. So again here, if I am at this point, the induced charge is already less. You see at zero angle. When I am exactly on this line, right? When I am exactly at this point, the induced charge is less compared to the y by a equals 2. So I move this one and then the charge density is falling but not that much. You got it? Yes. When I am at this point, the, the induced charge was falling so quickly yes. as I changed the angle. When I am far away, the induced charge is not falling that quickly. 